BBC Radio 2 listeners have reacted furiously to the news that Steve Wright would be leaving his afternoon show after 24 years. Leading the outrage to the DJ's axing are Piers Morgan and Jeremy Vine who paid tribute to Steve's professionalism and labelled him a legendary broadcaster. In the major shake-up, Scott Mills will be leaving Radio 1 to take over from Steve with Sarah Cox having her drive-time show extended by an hour so it starts at 4pm. It was announced on Friday, Steve, 67, will bid farewell to Wright in the afternoon, which is broadcast each weekday from 2 to 5 p.m., at the end of September. After the announcement, Steve's Radio 2 colleague, Jeremy Vine, tweeted his admiration, writing, Steve Wright, one of the greatest radio voices of all time. Innovator, entertainer, complete and utter professional. Such a pleasure to work alongside him, such a great person to have a laugh with, bought me a pair of radio slippers when he caught me ogling his red heart emoji, this guy. Piers Morgan also shared his thoughts on the DJ, saying he is a master of the craft on the radio. Piers tweeted, Congrats to Steve Wright on a dazzlingly successful 23-year run presenting his brilliant afternoon show on at Radio 2, he's an absolute master of the broadcasting craft and such a great guy too. Always loved doing his show, and seeing him work his magic. Thanks Steve. Stalwart DJ, Tony Blackburn, was another of Radio 2's presenters to express their surprise and pay tribute to Steve. He tweeted, just want to say the respect I have for Steve Wright at Radio 2 I love the guy and he's dedicated to radio. I've seen the effort and passion he gives to the show, in fact that show is him. I love his company. He's a nice guy and a complete one-off. Comedian Chris Addison joked that this was a significant moment at Andy Beeb, akin to the alleged aftermath of the Ravens leaving the Tower of London, which superstition states that the crown will fall and Britain with it. He tweeted, Well, now. This is Ravens leaving the Tower level stuff. I always loved going on Steve Wright's show. You could see the hard work he and his team put into every bit of it. Quite something to witness. The broadcaster took home a lucrative £375,000, £379,999 last year, while Steve made a hefty £465,000. £469,999 when the salaries were released by the BBC. Back in January, BBC boss Tim Davies said Culture Secretary Nadine Dorries's decision to freeze the licence fee for the next two years meant a £285 million cut to programming. He said at the time the network would have to consider what will have to go, adding, everything is on the agenda. Listeners were not happy that Steve is seemingly part of this cull. Taking to Twitter, one unhappy fan vowed to switch off, tweeting, what awful news. 
No one can replace Steve Wright in the afternoon. It's what I look forward to most listening to Radio 2 all day. I won't be listening from autumn. Another fumed, worst decision BBC have made yet. I've listened to Steve Wright in the afternoon for as long as I can remember on BBC One and BBC Two. The title The Big Show doesn't do it justice. It is the best radio show anywhere, anytime. A third added, big mistake at Radio 2 huge. Steve Wright is fundamental to Radio 2. Looking for a new afternoon 2 to 4 slot to listen to if anyone can recommend a different station. While Law Forth addressed their tweet to Helen Thomas, who is the head of Radio 2, at Miss Helen Thomas big mistake getting rid of Steve Wright in the afternoon. There goes your audience. Steve is the best presenter on Radio 2 by miles. He connects to the audience like no other. Radio 2 won't be the same without him. Certainly won't be listening after he goes. Speaking about his departure, Steve said, after nearly 24 years of presenting six shows a week on Radio 2, onwards and upwards for some brand new challenges. Radio 2 told me several months back that they wanted to do something different in the afternoons, and I thought, fair enough. Let's give somebody else a go. Scott is a brilliant and versatile broadcaster, he is the man for the job and Sarah's an amazing presenter, and a wondrous person. Later this year, fans of the afternoon show can go to BBC Sounds to hear a serious jock in series and I'm also looking forward to developing and creating some exciting new digital programs and podcasts, which will feature elements of the afternoon show. I get so much creative freedom at the BBC, I have no complaints. They've always been fair and kind to me. We're not done yet. Afternoons will finish in September, we'll move on to new programs and projects in October, and love songs will continue every Sunday morning. Helen Thomas, head of Radio 2 added, Steve's a legendary radio broadcaster and producer, known for his passion and commitment in keeping millions of listeners entertained each weekday afternoon. I'm thrilled he'll remain in Wogan House as a part of the Radio 2 family to present Sunday love songs as well as seasonal specials and regular serious jockin specials for BBC Sounds and Radio 2. Web celebs at mirror.co.2 or call us direct 0207 29 33033.